Hello and welcome to episode 64 of series 4 of Master League Story Mode. And look at that. Who will make it to the final? Did we ever believe, really did anyone in Claremont ever believe, that one day their left back Ruben Duarte would be standing back to back with uh, PSG's Meza Ozil in this promotional shot here? Is Duarte that tall? That's odd. I didn't think he was uh, that big. But he's dwarfing Meza Ozil there. And hopefully that's what we can do in this crucial, crucial semi-final Coupe de France matchup. And then after that, well, we're straight in to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. We are into the business end of the season, everyone. Welcome. This is where we really need to press on. Luckily, in the last couple of games, we've seen some really positive stuff. Let's go and take a look at the sides for this one. I am starting to get those flutters. I'm starting to get a faster heart rate. This is going to be a tricky game against a ridiculous side. We've played them with Manchester City and Gabby and gone out to them. But PSG are a side that we have beaten in the past. But wow, stacked full of quality. That front line. I mean, no one under 84 rated in the midfield or up front, which is insane. And obviously, ridiculously strong centre-back duo as well. We're going to have our work cut out here. Let's take a look at uh, our side for today. So, who's playing up front? Well, one of the big positives of the last episode is we saw great performances from uh, Pesetto. Not something we've seen in a while. I think he actually goes ahead of Masunda now onto the bench. Masunda's career has gone completely down the drain, I would say. It's a really difficult one for him, but he's just not going uh, to get in this side. He definitely needs a move away. And then Tissarand in as well. But yeah, front three, I think we keep it as it is. Uh, I think we'll bring in Ben Arthur for Wellington there, but this front three has been excellent. We'll keep it at 91 team spirit. Emre Moore, maybe would consider himself unlucky not to start on this sort of form, but I think we'll keep it as it is. Back four as well. Zagadou's looked a little bit better. Alcibiadi though, wow. Round of applause. Everyone stand. Stand and that's, yeah, that is something special, honestly. In the last game, he was everywhere. Defensively, scoring goals, assisting goals. Just a machine. And uh, let's not forget, he is our lowest rated player. He's an excellent example of where overall rating doesn't really matter that much. You've just got to look at the three stats. Low pass, lofted pass and speed. His ball control is actually decent as well. His dribbling is not great, but he's very much a straight line dribbler. So we're not too worried about that. Yes, his ball winning, his defensive prowess is under 70, which isn't ideal for a right back. But he's got one touch pass as well. And he's just very, very effective. And obviously he scored, which was great. Anyway, let's get into it. Absolutely huge one. It's do or die today. This will go all the way to penalties if needs be. Can we pull off a miraculous win in the cup? Come on. So again, those of you who watched the uh, Become a Legend series with Gabby Goal will know that we've not won anything yet and we're not going to be winning anything this season. I'm starting to get very concerned that in this series, this Pez 18 series or series, the Pez 18, that we're going to come away with winning nothing, which would be a huge, huge catastrophe. Every other series of Master League story mode and Become a Legend story mode, we've won silverware at club level, at international level. At the moment, it's coming up, uh, coming up completely blank in the old uh, PSM trophy cabinet. So yeah, we need, we need something today. And, uh, this is going to be, I think, maybe the toughest ask. I feel like the Europa League might be more likely. But for now, yeah, we just need one big one-off performance today against the giants of PSG. And who knows, with the form that we're in, anything's possible. Oh, this is dangerous here. Thiago steps away. Holgate, great challenge. Get out of the way, Ben Arthur. Oh, takes over. Up against his old side today, obviously. Steps away from Verratti nicely. Then back to Ben Asser. We'll look to build here with Duarte. Puts a good ball in. Looking for Koyalapu. The header! <laughs> what? Where has that come from? Out of nowhere. And the underdogs today take the lead. And it's that boy. The boy with the golden boots. They didn't need him there though. That was a nice little header. But they were caught flat-footed there. PSG. Complacency at the beginning. Won the ball back well. Just passed it around. Nothing special. Koyalapu had made a really good run. And it looked like... Who's that? Thiago Silva had him. Like he knew where he was, but just suddenly... He drifted into a bit of space behind the centre-back. And Duarte was able to pick him out with a pinpoint ball. And, uh, yeah. Ariola, not the best goalkeeping ever. Seemed to overcommit. Very simple header in the end. Great start here. PSG passing it around now. Starting to get into the flow of this game after the early shock. Cavani turns away, back to Verratti. Cafu misses his challenge, way too much space there. Cavani now, out to Di Maria. 
Now Di Maria steps inside and jam. Yes, great tackle. And then lovely distribution to find Cafu. Can we catch him on the break here? Ball inside to Ben Arthur wasn't the best. We will retain possession. Cafu inside to Ben Arthur. He'll turn. Looks to slip in Caramo. The 1 2. Caramo into the box. It's fallen kindly. No way. No. Oh my god. I think I was running out of oxygen there. We were just such great close control. Short passing. And somehow Kyalapu got it back to through to Caramo. Just puts it wide. Ozil. Oh, that's a great ball into Di Maria on the rebound. Oh, wow. That Ozil ball. It's absolute poetry. Let's take a look at, look at this again. I mean, this shows how easily PSG can just get, cut us apart. Duarte caught ball watching. Di Maria luckily couldn't direct the rebound on goal. But yeah, got to be careful. 34 minutes gone. Ozil into Kozawa. Bit of space now for Neymar. He's been uh, totally... Anonymous today, but Alcibiade, what a hero, wins it back from the Brazilian. And now Jan Caramo looks to push it into uh, Goodwin Koyalapu. What a ball that is. Koyalapu and so How the hell did he get that back? <laughs> Almost didn't expect that to go through to Koyalapu there and didn't really respond in the way I should. We've had chances to make it 2-0. I can't believe we're going in at only 1-0 here. PSG have been poor, really poor. They have had chances as well, yes. And actually, they've come back and got a lot more possession in the second half of that first half. Because, to begin with, we were looking at 60% after the first 20 minutes. Yeah, that's faded off a little bit of PSG. have started to show their quality, as you'd expect. But really, we've had a couple of big chances there for Koyalapu and Karamo as well. This maybe just froze up a little. We need to take them if they appear in this second half. This is going to be tricky to hold on to this. Giovanni. Baratti. Good ball out looking for Kurosawa. Great touch, but incredible work from Alcibiadi. Doesn't get it clear, though. Mistake there. Cavani. No. Shit. Alcibiadi, you're awful. What have we said about you? I take it all back. Should have dealt with that there. He's almost too confident at the moment, you would say. <laughs> oh, and then Cavani gets up ahead of Ben Arthur. That's not the way this is meant to play out. Not Alcibiadi. Not now. Cavani. Oh, it's too easy. Too easy there. Falls to Thiago. Zagadou misses it. Oh, shh. No. That's... This isn't in the script. Just just chucked it. A two-goal advantage away. In mere moments there, Zagadou missed that one. It's a great finish from Alcantara. Oh, how has this happened? We'll go back to Verratti to put it in. Benassa gets there. Koyalapu fouled there awfully. But we'll still look to break with Jan. He can put a ball out to Cafu. Two in the box for the Brazilian to aim for. He'll put a ball up. Looking for Caramo. Oh, it's off the line. You've got to be shitting me. You've got to be kidding me. I can't. Oh, oh Duarte does really well. And then out to Caramo just to relieve a bit of pressure, if nothing else. Caramo round the corner into Cafu. It's the same again. Cafu to the line. Puts it up. Caramo with the header again. Exactly the same break. Exactly the same result. Not a powerful enough header. Oh, and that's never a foul. Get up, Neymar. Oh, it's slipping away, this one. It is slipping through our fingers. So a couple of changes here. Nem and more. Can they be the, uh, the difference here? I can't believe we've done this. <laughs> can't believe we've let them come back into this. We had so many chances at 1-0 as well. To double our advantage. Couldn't make any of them stick. Nem, nice turn. Little flick over. Now Ben Arthur, looking tired. Could he be the difference today? Just looking to work a bit of space there in the centre. Caramo into more. He'll flick it into the path of Jan Caramo. Oh, the first touch! No! Oh, yes! Come on! Come on! Guyanapu just sneaks in at the far post. Oh my god, I thought that was all over there. Caramo's first touch is something you'd be reading about in police reports. That is an absolute disgrace. Got the shot off. Keeper got a block to it. But Goodwin was lurking. And he was able to put it away from a very, very tight angle. Nice little ball through from Emery Moore. This first touch, not his finest work. 
almost, you know, was close to finishing it anyway. But then Koyalapu, he didn't give up. He was there. And uh, that is an absolutely huge one. And we may well be going to extra time here. Just keep it tight now. Neymar's switched wings. He's got a bit of space here. Good ball in. Marquinhos. Pastore back to Verratti. Oh, Ben Arthur. You absolute genius. And now Koyalapu's put a ball over the top. Jan Karamo is going to get there. Will his first touch be any better this time? Ah, oh, Thiago Silva. Always the powerful man at the back. Oh my god, almost a one-on-one -on -one there. Camera was looking a bit leggy, but it will go now into extra time. 88th minute goal. Over 80 minutes difference between our first and second goal. That's crazy. We just kept plugging away. And look at those stats. Very, very similar amount of shots. PSG have started to uh, put a stranglehold on the possession a little bit. That's never been our game. We've never been worried about that. I've got one more substitution to make, I guess. Can maybe leave off a bit. Is it going to be Pesetto? Is he going to be the man to make history to come off the bench and really change this game? Maybe Ben Arthur is the one. He's going to be tired soon as well. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll keep it as it is for now. But changes will have to be made. And Pesetto, will the stars align for that one? I mean, that would be incredible. <sighs> Di Maria lets that one run and he's done Zagadu. Stay where you are in champ. Alcibiade can deal with that. Oh, no, he can't. No! No! Oh, fuck! Fuck! Alcibiade again. <laughs> I can't believe it. I mean, I thought just... He had so much space there. I thought you can just... Just head of this one to Holgate. Missed it. Oh, I can't believe it. The heartache. And then he's beaten for the header. Oh. From hero to villain so quickly. Oh, Neymar, lovely footwork. Cavani steps back in. Verratti with the header. Bernardoni, great save. That's a good throw out there into Koyalapu. Now Hetem Ben Arthur. Finds Duarte. Koyalapu, good first touch. Back into Duarte. Oh, he loses it. Oh, just about keeps hold of it. This is getting manic. Can Wellington Nem take a bit of the sting out of this one? Oh, and Cham. Good step away. Finds Duarte. Again into Olivier and Cham. Onto his right foot. Looking for Jan Caramo. The header is wide. Oh, great work there from Claremont. They will not be beaten here. They will not lay down and take this. That's neat from uh, Ruben Duarte. Caramo rose well. Keeper had it covered though, I feel. So can this be the man to change our fortunes? At least take it to penalties. If not, win it. I mean, Pesetto, you're already becoming a bit of a legend of the club. Score today, and you will be immortalised forever. Ben Arthur. Out to Duarte. Bit of space here for him as well. He's got Pasetto ahead of him. Strong run. Oh, what? Come on. Well, okay. Half time. Not long left now. I can't believe two Alcibiade mistakes. Oh, what's going to uh, ruin this for us? We can't allow that to happen. Come on. Alcibiade read that well. Had to. Ben Arthur now into Emre Moore. He can poke it into Wellington Nam. Back to Ben Arthur. Caramo turns. Silver. There's a foul in there. Surely. Surely there is. And this is a dangerous position for a free kick. I mean, it would be if we knew how to take him. Still yet to score one. Still yet to really even discover how to get close. Never even got close. Well, I think if we aim for Verratti, gives us the best chance of getting it over the wall. That's in Ben Arthur. Oh! What? Come on then! Get in at him! What a time for us to score our first free kick in PES 2018. I feared, like Silverware, it would be something that we'd never do in this game, in this edition. But wow, what a time to do it. We aim for the shortest man on the pitch. Did we get it through the gap? We pretty much did. Pretty much did. Rabio unable to get to it. Ariola couldn't get close. Come on then! Come on! And there it is. Oh, my God. It's going to be penalties. I can't believe it. Oh, the stress. I mean, two very late goals from Claremont to even give us the chance to be here for penalties after extra time. This has been tight. Look at that. Exactly the same number of shots and shots on target. PSG with a little bit more possession. A few more passes made in the end. But, yeah, very, very similar. PSG making 12 tackles. That's massive. Right. Penalties it is. Oh, my God. 
Can't believe this. I mean, who's even good at penalties? Let's take a look. Not very many of them, by the looks of it. Not very many at all. Pfft, I mean, Ruben Duarte I'd put ahead of in Cham. Holgate's even better than in Cham in theory. And then it goes all the way down to Bernadoni actually being better at penalties, apparently, than Alcibiade and Zagadou. I find that hard to believe. Jan Karamo to take the first. Emre Moore's in there taking a penalty. That's a big ask for the young man. Ben Arthur, you'd hope, would slip his away. <sighs> Let's do it. Come on, then. Is this a chance for Bernadoni to really become a Claremont legend? I mean, he's got to be close. He's really got to be close. But to save a penalty or more today would be incredible. And it's the Englishman Raheem Sterling up first. Oh, and he sent him the wrong way. Great start there for PSG. And here he is, Jan Karamo, top scorer in Liga. Can he get us off to a good start here? Goes low. Oh, ho, ho. Bloody hell, that was close. In off the post. You could say a perfect penalty. You could say, bloody hell, that was scary. Bernadoni now. Again, he's been sent the wrong way. I don't know what the best strategy is here. I always feel like going down to the keeper's right. Gives us a good chance. Right, Passetto. Where does he go? Oh. Oh, that's too hard. That's too hard. Fuck, fucked it. Oh my god, it's the same again. Off the post. Ah, I hate this. I hate this. I probably do like two, maybe three penalty shootouts every year. This is the one. Well, we've gone to his right both times. Let's go to Bernadoni's low left. Shit, 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 shit. Cavani, good penalty. They've all been good so far. Now Emre Moore, the left footer. We want to give ourselves a bit more of a chance this time. We can't be doing it off the post every time. Keeper didn't move. Emre Moore slips it away. They've both been good. Javier Pastore now wearing the captain's armband. To go down the middle. Oh, Perfect penalties so far. And it will be Hatem Ben Arfa against his old side. Ariola, Will he get his first save? No, he won't. This is tense. Really, really tense here. Verratti. Where will he go? Oh, he's oh, off the post and in. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Big pressure here on the Spaniard. Ruben Duarte had a great game. Set up the first goal. What can he do? This to stay in this one. Well, I think we go bottom left. Ruben Duarte. Keeper's gone the wrong way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Rabio now for PSG. Bernadoni hasn't got close to a single one, and that's going to be no different. This, I can't, I can't fucking stand it. I feel sick. It's Wellington Nem. The little Brazilian. Didn't have a great game coming on. Hit that quite hard there. Nem. Oof, Ariola doesn't move. Our strategy of just going left and right and low seems to have worked. I can't go all the way through. Oh, Kazawa. Oh, Bernadoni's gone the right way! Oh my god! Oh my god, who's it going to be? It's going to be Holgate. Okay, fine. Not what we would have wanted, but we'll keep the same strategy. Oh, that's not too hard. Holgate! Yes! We've done it! We've done it, lads! We're going to the final, and that is the big dog out of the way. PSG done now. We really would expect to win this one. Coupe de France is in sight. I can't believe the tenseness of that game. That goes down as, down as easily one of the most exciting and most nerve-wracking. I can't even... I'm so full of adrenaline now, which is, is weird to say. But, you know, after a whole season to get to this point, getting to know and love these players, as I'm sure you all have as well, it's hard now to be funny or anything other than just a bit shaky. I promise you, I'm actually shaking. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just so pleased for the lads. So pleased. Kareem Diakra as well must be very, very proud. We looked like we chucked that away a couple of times, didn't we? The two late goals. Such a, such a close game as well. Hatem Ben Arfa putting in a great performance against his old side. <sighs> we missed some big chances. We really did. And Alcibiadi with two huge mistakes. I mean, the, the first one wasn't as bad, but the second one, it's inexcusable. But hey, who cares? We're through. Wow. Wow. Six, seven on penalties as well after three all. And we'll go through to play Bordeaux in the final. That should be less of a tough test anyway. Jonathan Cafu's old club. They overcame Nantes in a much easier side of the draw, I'm sure. Sure, we had some really tough games. 
Who do we beat? We beat Nancy. We beat Marseille. St. Etienne. I think that was a pretty tough journey, but we've been excellent. And this monthly report. Yeah, we had a bit of a run of draws, didn't we? We went four games without a win. But then we've uh, turned it around a little bit. And now Sibiadi grabbing two assists. He's looking good. Caramo, six goals. Ben Arthur with a couple as well. He's starting to contribute. And Ben Arthur looking great, actually. He's been given a, a spot in the team. And look at that. Passing and passes received in the 90s. He's dribbling also. Very efficient. 87%. Taking on a lot of players in the middle of the park. And uh, yeah, I mean, Koyalapu hasn't had many chances. He's put him away very well. Caramo good in the air. Ben Asa putting in a lot of tackles. That's good. Thought maybe the defensive side might be the disadvantage of playing him. He's not been he's not been great. He had a bit of a run of form, didn't he, earlier in the season. He's been functional at best. Don't know if he's necessarily tied down that position. But yeah, good a good month in total. Uh, do we make it into the No, no one in the team of the month. We did have a lot of draws. Did have a lot of draws. So here we are. The owner. A little word from him. He would like us to make it past the Europa League semi-finals. That's that's uh it's a good idea. All right, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. And uh, wow, yeah, Coupe de France final. Massive one for Claremont here. What a trophy that would be for Corinne Diacra to uh, give to Claremont as a goodbye gift. There she is at the press conference. Don't get to see her very much. Looks a bit more reasonable in the tracksuit. That could be her, I guess, maybe. It's not very nice, is it? But yeah, things now don't get any less heart-stopping. We're into uh, the Europa League and we're up against... Gabby goals Benfica. He's not starting today, but he is on the bench. So we might get to see him. They've signed a Wobi as well. Interesting. It's a very good side. Very good side. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. Front three looking okay. Pesetto on a blue. It's got to be tempting, but I just... I'm, I don't know. No. Jonathan Cafu's been excellent. We've got no reason to drop him. Obviously, a lot of you big fans. I am a fan as well. Uh, ben Asser on a downward arrow. It's been international breaks. He's playing for Morocco. We'll bring in Dooling again seen him in a while we'll give him a run out today and uh yeah obviously ben arthur comes in as well i think that's definitely a permanent thing he he starts for me he's been excellent it's that show he's made a huge contribution what a lone signing he's been so for a club on only their second season in the top flight in their history to still be in two cups at this late stage of the season alongside pushing for a champions league spot it's incredible I mean, I don't know if there can be many comparisons. Obviously, you can have one-off freak seasons where you do very well. Some people could say that about our last season. But to then push on the next season and build with a fairly similar squad with only a few additions is uh, something to be marvelled at for sure. Karine Diacra taking all the plaudits that she deserves in the run-up to this one. Can we continue the great form? Come on. Jonas now. We know all about him. He's a good centre forward. And that's a good ball into him. <sighs> Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. Great save there. Not a good clearance, though. Still an issue here. Carvalho into Jonas. Let's get it away, for Christ's sake. Oh, my God. Not a good start. And worth remembering as well that we are at home here. So a goal for Benfica would be, uh, yeah, a really, really big problem for us. We, we want to uh, keep a clean sheet here. We don't want to be giving away away goals. And they were looking a little shaky here to start off with, to put it mildly. And Pizzi now to put in their first corner. They've got some big guys. Bernardoni, hope would have held that. That's a good ball in. Jonas! Oh, my God. Caramo, though. That's a lovely ball into Cafu. And he will look up and find Goodwin Koyalapu. That's perfectly weighted for the striker to push it back. Into Jan Caramo. Lovely. F oh, too much. Just hit it. He'd taken it around the man, but the defender came in. That is criminal. That was just a tap in there. Tried to take it around the keeper for the guaranteed goal. Could have easily just slipped that under him. Please don't be made to regret that decision. Now Dooleen into Ben Arthur. Tight passing here. Caramo into Hatem Ben Arthur. Cuts back in with the left foot. Just gets a touch off the defender. And, uh, oh no, he didn't get a touch. That's surprising. Chances few and far between, though, in this first half. Salvio into Jonas. Duarte, great touch. Had to get that right. And then Ben Arthur, under a lot of pressure, does well to find a ball to Alcibiadi. Cafu into Encham. He'll take it on the run. Lovely first touch. 
And then the power down the wing away from Carvalho. Can't get close to him. And Cham now waiting to find men to aim for in the box. Koyalapu. Oh, oh, oh. good opportunity. Jonas. Back to goal. He's fine. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Bernardoni. Great save. How has that happened? How has that happened? Let's take another look here. Looked like we had it all sorted. Well, Zagadou just managed to kick it into Doolin. He didn't respond. Luckily, Bernardoni did, but they will have a corner here. They've got a lot of big guys. First half nearly over here. That's a good ball in. Holgate will jump. That's some clearance. That has gone into orbit. Salvio will bring it down. Good ball into Jonas. Good header. Oh, Bernardoni. <gasps> Onto his own post. Thank Christ for that. Bernardoni with two incredible saves at the end of this half. And the home fans will be thinking, what's what's up here? What's, what's wrong? Why have we only had one shot at target? We're in Claremont. We own this city. This is our town. That's, come on, we need we need to see more in the second half. Eight shots on target for Benfica. It's just too many. Duarte. Can we launch a break here? Koyalapu. Good ball there. Ben Arthur. Wide into Alcibiadi. Patient stuff here. Good ball into Incham. Takes that on the run. Back to Ben Arthur. This is the axis here. Koyalapu gets it back from Karamo. Yes! <laughs> it's almost like... As soon as they two get it, anywhere near the edge of the box, you know you're getting a chance out of it. They, uh, they've grown up together in this Claremont side. The young guns, as they're affectionately known. Le Enfant Pew Pew, as a, that's, I believe, the French for it. Um, they, they just have a, a telepathic sense of where the other one's going to be. And those one-twos, well, they are almost undefendable. And, uh, yeah, it was calm passing here, but this exact situation we've seen so many times... It's the way this uh, Kareem Diakra formation works. Those two centre forwards just playing to the left-hand side of the goal. So we've got a right winger to stretch play. But then when you've got two centre forwards who work together like this, it's such a rarity in football nowadays to see a strike partnership. I guess it's more of a front three. But really, when Kara and Koya work together, they sort of are a, a front two in the traditional sense. And that was the perfect example. Oh, nice work here. Servi. Oh, Holgate. Booming tackle there. And then he's going to look to launch a break. Through the centre now. Holgate, lovely ball. Into Jonathan Cafu. He can slip in Jan Caramo. Scrimaldo does excellently. Oh, and they get it away. What a break that was, though. So triple sub here as we look to take the sting out of things. Bassetto will get a run out on the wing. He's never been great there, to be fair, but he should do a job. And Tisserand on to uh, add a bit of defensive muscle into the back four. It's a good ball wide to Alex Iwobi. Sibiadi though, makes up the ground, but he doesn't quite get to that. Good ball in. Oh, my God, what are you doing in Cham? No, what is that? Mistakes, more mistakes. And that's the away goal we didn't want to give away. Oh, and Cham. Just panicked there. Just panicked. That was not meant to happen. Obviously not meant to happen. Benfica now look full of confidence after that mistake. Jonas into the box, steps back. Surely one of you can tackle him. Pereira, oh my god, no. Pizzi, oh for crying out loud. What are we doing? We've really got an in for ourselves today. We're making mistakes everywhere. And that's it here in Claremont. Oh, I'm gutted about that. Well, we've given them an away goal. Should have held on to the 1-0. Benfica were good, to be fair. Always looked dangerous. Had way more chances than we did, actually, throughout that game. Jonas a real pain. We never got to see Gabby. He didn't even get a chance. Bernardoni, yeah, he did have to make some good saves, didn't he? Gets man of the match, and that tells you a lot in a one-all. Well, at least we've got a goal. And we'll go now to Portugal with, uh, I think, backing ourselves definitely to score and make things very difficult for Benfica. I don't think we'll have any problems breaking them down again. Uh, in Cham, though, the mistake. You don't expect it from him. I'd say the captain is Mr. Dependable for us normally. And that was just a moment of madness. Didn't see the opposition, looked to pass it, and they snuck in, gutting, gutting. Well, it's right, it's fine, it's fine. I think we can make our way out of this one in the second leg. I don't, I'm not too concerned. A quick look at the other quarterfinals. Ajax looked to be going through. Spurs getting a away goal, that's a good start for them. And Anderlecht look like they're going through as well. Looks like we'll play either Ajax, Spurs or Anderlecht in the semis. So, uh, yeah, and it's going to be tough opposition at the next round anyway. We've still got a lot to do before that happens.
So there we have it, a very, very exciting episode. Wow, I don't think I'd quite recovered from the stress of that last game, which maybe led to the Enchant mistake. That was inexcusable. That was basic day one noob stuff. Just panic passing back. But hey, no problem, no problem. We've got the second leg in the next episode. I think we can do it. We've got Lorient on home first, and then uh, after that we've got PSG again in the league. Doesn't mean a hell of a lot, even though they are first, because I don't think we can come back. Um, but yeah, hopefully Europa League semi-finals and then eventually Coupe de France final and then hopefully a Europa League final. It's going to be a big few episodes for Claremont. I'll see you in a bit.